So this video is just for the Smart 450s, uh, 2001 to 2007 Smart 4.2. Uh, if you noticed uh, in your Smart that the headlight bulbs keep burning out, uh, there's a reason for that and the reason is the voltage is really high and it stays really high for a long period of time. And you may have noticed that uh, when you buy uh, the more expensive bulbs they seem to burn out quicker. Uh, I know I have. I've purchased uh, the fancy, you know, $40 a piece bulbs. And those ones seem to burn out a lot uh, quicker than uh, just the regular cheap version, the dimmer ones. And I, th I think the reason for that is, is the brighter ones, they burn hotter and the higher voltage burns them out quicker. And the lower, the lower priced ones, they're not as bright, they don't burn as hot and they tend to last a little bit longer. So if you're having trouble with your headlights burning out, buy the cheap ones. Uh, they'll probably last longer than the expensive ones, unless you get an LED or something. I was trying to figure out why they keep burning out because I replaced the headlights and then uh, about three, four months later they burned out again. I figured, oh, that's that's too quick, that's too soon. And uh, I was driving the car and I was looking at the voltage in the control panel on the side and it stays at like 14.3 for like hours, even when it's warm out, even when the car, you know, the battery's fully charged, I don't have a lot of heavy cranking. It just, it just stays a, in a really high range for a long period of time and it, barely ever dips down to like the 13.5 or 13.3 or 13.7 that you see in other vehicles. So on startup, wait for the alternator to kick in. Usually takes a few seconds in the smart. Maybe 15, 15, 30 seconds, there it goes. And now we have 14.6, 14.5 volts uh, nominal. And it'll stay like that for a fair amount of time, probably longer than it should, and that's the reason why uh, the headlight bulbs burn out in the smart. And then I did a little bit more research into that, and I, I looked online, and uh, these cars are getting old now, but the threads are still there, where uh, a long time ago, uh, they noticed the problems with the Smart 450 with the headlights, and they had a, a resistor kit you can get for it. So what what that is 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 pretty much like this. This isn't this isn't it. This is just a, a resi resistor kit from a, a LED a headlight kit. Uh, but Smart uh, actually made one for the Smart uh, 4.2. Uh, it just uh, goes. It just plugs into the black. It just plugs into the back of the light, and you plug it into the harness, and uh, it lowers the voltage to the lights so they don't uh, burn out as quick. I don't know if it makes them any dimmer, probably a little bit, but not uh, so much that uh, you notice it. So anyway, that smart kit was a, a three ohm resistor for each headlight, so a three ohm resistor. And I was looking online, I was trying to find the same amount of resistance, because uh, they make them, but they're for LED, LED light kits. If you want to switch to LEDs, uh, I don't know, something to do with the LED install where uh, you got to throw a resistor in the line. So anyway, these resistors are for LED kit and they're uh, 6 ohm resistors. So they handle 50 watts and they're 6 ohms. So that's more than the resistor kit that Smart offers uh, is. Uh, so I'm going to plug this in and see if it's uh, too dim to be driving with. I think it's probably be okay. I'll measure the voltage uh, without it on there and then I'll measure the voltage with the resistor in there and we'll see what we get. Okay, so I got some jumper wires plugged into the connector there for the headlight. Uh, the bulbs in these are H7 for the low beams and H1 for the high beams, I think. So, uh, we'll see what the voltage is on the line here. Uh, this is with just one headlight connected. So this is what the bulb sees when you have one headlight burned out. So that's 14.1 volts. So uh, I'm gonna plug in the resistor and see what we get for voltage. I don't know if there's a right way to connect it. Uh, it's the same size prong either way, there's no connecting hook. Uh, I guess I just plug it in and see uh, how it goes. Uh, the resistor is on the positive side. 
So I guess I should check that plug to see which side is positive on it uh, before I plug this thing in because I'm not sure if it'll work on the negative side. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I guess it will. So that's uh, positive to positive and then negative out. I don't know how this thing works actually. It's kind of weird. I thought it'd be a right through design. Okay, so it uh, has the positive going into the one end. It has the negative going into the other end. And then it looks like the negatives are connected to the wire. And the positives are connected to the same wire. So I'm not sure how this thing works. Uh, could this be a scam product that does absolutely nothing? I don't know. Maybe those wires aren't connected, but it sure feels like they're soldered together on the ends. Yeah, it sure feels like they're soldered together. There we go, so 5 ohms. I don't have this setting quite right, but yeah, 5 ohms. So from the positive to the negative, it's five ohms. So hopefully that'll do something, we'll see here. Okay, so I got my resistor connected. Uh, it's plugged in. Uh, whether or not the positive is connected to the positive and negative connected to the negative, because uh, there's no direction which way to plug it in. So uh, yeah, I'll see what the voltage is there and hopefully I got it the right way in. I heard the, the light buzz for a second and come on, so uh, yeah. Hey, look at that. I got the, uh, it plugged in backwards, but uh, it's 13.7. Uh, so, yeah, negative 13.7. So I got the my uh, red lead to the red wire and the black lead to the black wire. And you see the little negative symbol on the meter there? That means the polarity is backwards, but it's still, re still reading a, a positive voltage. I just have the wires backwards. See, I do that and it reads the proper voltage. But uh, assuming that uh, this Chinese product was put together properly, uh, I'm gonna switch the leads over, uh, or switch the, the connector over inside there. I'm just gonna flip it over so that the, the red wire uh, coming out will have the positive and the negative wire, or the black wire will have the negative. So when I plugged it in, it's plugged in backwards. So I'll plug it in the right way so the positive will be coming out on the po on the red positive wire. M10 is it 10 13.7 volts. So uh that'll be pretty good. Uh and uh, I expect the the voltage to drop down even a little bit more when I connect the other headlight. Uh or when I connect this headlight. Right now it's just running on the one headlight. So uh, I'll plug this one in and uh, I'll see how much dimmer it is from the other one. Uh, I think it should be okay because even at rest, like even without the engine started when you turn the headlights on and uh, the battery's putting out like 12 volts or 12.5 or 12.7 volts, the, the headlights are still plenty, the headlights are still plenty bright to uh, see what's going on in front of the car. Uh, and just as a side note, uh, if you have really big forearms, uh, this is probably not the job for you. If you have uh, someone with uh, skinny forearms, uh, maybe get them to help you with this. Because uh, uh, reaching in there, grabbing that connector, or even changing the bulbs out for that matter, is uh, kind of made for a person with uh, small forearms. Uh, you can do it, just going to have to roll up your sleeve and squish it in there probably. So, oh, voltage dropped even more. Okay, so I'm going to plug the headlight in. And, uh, holy crap, something to note too. 
if you plug this thing into the end and you don't have any current on it uh, all the current must be going through it uh, through the resistor and heating it up because holy crap this thing was snug down uh, beside the uh, snug down beside the uh, air box there and uh, I haven't plugged it in yet and it got super super hot I don't think it melted a hole in anything but yeah it got super really super freaking hot because i was like maybe maybe uh one minute 30 seconds to a minute i had this thing plugged in and it got that hot can you tell the difference i can't really tell the difference So this one has the 6 ohm resistor in there and it's pretty near as bright as the one that's just uh, wired straight in there. The problem is this thing getting hot. I mean that's still pretty freaking hot. I'll leave it on there for a while and see if it stays that hot, but holy shoot. Like I can't even zip tie that to anything in the event it gets hot, it's gonna melt through something. That's a problem. That's why the body of this thing is aluminum because it's gotta uh, dissipate heat in some way because resistance uh, adds heat. So just like you put a resistor in a line, it's gonna get a little bit warm, but uh, crap, that was like, that was very hot. Maybe I was only a second or two away from burning it out. No, no, there it goes again. Like, shit. Ah. <sighs> so what to do, what to do? Uh, that could be why Smart only had uh, a 3 ohm resistor in there because a 6 ohm resistor just gets too damn hot. Uh, I can't, I can't wire it to here because that's the, that's the windshield wiper arm, I suppose. What's this one? Oh, that's part of the windshield wiper system too. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. This might be a fail. I mean, it works. It lowered the voltage, but uh, I'm not gonna install it at the risk of uh, melting the smart car down. I don't want the melt. I don't want to melt the smart car. Who wants to melt their smart car? I don't. So yeah, crap. Hmm. I guess I just keep buying the cheap bulbs. Yeah. I guess that's the the best uh, case scenario. Yeah. Look how hot that's. It's freaking smoking just on its own. The is getting so hot. It's melt in the plastic again so the the plastic that was on there is cooking off now yeah the issue with the headlights burning out is the fact that the voltage stays too high due to the smarts uh, charging system uh, which causes the headlights to burn out uh, prematurely and then one once one headlight goes then uh, the higher voltage is now going through the one headlight and then that headlight burns out within a day or two and uh, the only way to fix that is to put a resistor in the line to lower the voltage uh, the problem is when you put a resistor on the line it creates lots of heat and that heat's got to go somewhere uh, that's the reason for the aluminum body on uh, this resistor but as you can see it's just getting way too hot and I don't feel comfortable leaving that somewhere uh, in the front of the car 
which is made mostly uh, from plastic. So I'm gonna take that out of there and uh, I'm gonna stick with uh, replacing the headlamps uh, when they burn out or uh, maybe uh, try to get my hands on that 3 ohm resistor that uh, Smart used to supply. I don't know if they still supply it but they, they used to supply a 3 ohm resistor that dropped the voltage to the headlights to keep them from burning out so uh, rapidly. So anyway, thanks for watching. So I, so I thought about this a little bit more uh, and really all you need is something to create more of a draw on the power wire for the headlights. So uh, what you could do is uh, throw in a set of fog lights, you know, just throw a couple little fog lights on the bottom and then just wire it into each headlight and that'll uh, drop the voltage for the headlight a little bit. Even if they're, uh, well, they can't be LEDs, they gotta be incandescent, they gotta be something that has a, a fair bit of draw to them. It can't be uh, like LEDs, what are they like, I don't know, like three watts or something or seven watts, I don't know. And a headlight is like 24 watts, maybe more, maybe 40, 40 watts, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's got to be an incandescent style bulb, so one with a filament that heats up and uh, draws a fair bit of current. And then you could just wire those into the headlights and uh, there's your uh, 3 ohms of resistance uh, to keep your headlights from burning out.